Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Davida from Medium of the Light Tarot. I am back at you with a pick a card reading of Why Are They Silent? So I've got three card decks here. Um, number one is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot with the black obsidian, not that you can see it, um, the <clears throat> Buddha, and then the Mermaid deck with a beautiful crystal and the um <clears throat> light seers tarot with a beautiful fluorite so one two and three i'm going to give you a, a second to choose your deck and we will begin so please like, share, and subscribe. This is not going to resonate with everyone, but there's many tarot readers out there, so if this doesn't resonate, um, please find someone who does or check back again for my other pick a card readings. So why are they silent? The Page of Cups coming out, the Ace of Wands. Why are they coming, or why are they silent? We got the Queen of Swords. We got the Defensive card. We got the Wish Fulfillment. The death card. Why are they silent? I'm picking up that you have no idea why they're silent. Um, what I'm picking up also is that you said something to them that they did not expect and made them withdraw. And you didn't mean any harm. You were trying to be respectful. That this person that you're dealing with is um, very tender-hearted and um, you trigger them because they they have a lot of passion for you and a lot of love for you. But they're feeling like maybe this is a stalemate where this can't move forward. Or that's what you expressed to them. And it made them withdraw. And they definitely want to move forward with you. They're just trying to figure out. They're kind of like trying to save face. They, they weren't expecting those words to come out of your mouth, and when they did, it just kind of shocked them. It made them feel like though there was a, a moment where, oh, this relationship is over, but that was a momentary thing. Because they're definitely wanting to express love to you. They're just feeling like, the words that you used were very cutting. Let's use a little more of these same deck. Why is the page of cups here? So when you said those things, you were looking for the to the future and saying, this is what I want. This is what I need. And it was almost like you, you caught them off guard because they're seeing you as the Nine of Pentacles, someone who's got their stuff together, who knows what they want and knows how to get it. But I don't think they're used to that. They're used to someone who is, excuse me, um, not as mature. So you might be a little older than them and they've um, generally dealt with people who are younger than them. So they're dealing with um, 
and some indecision on this. They're looking towards you to figure out what to do here. They're very confused. They want to come through with love. I just got the Ace of Cards, or the Ace of um, Cups. So with the Two of um, Swords, <clears throat> they just don't want to fight with you. And they feel like you were being um, like in a debating like mood. Like, okay, this is what I want. What are you going to do? And they backed away because they're like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> and that is why they are silent. With the Queen of Swords, they want the happiest deck in the card. They want the Sun card. They're just trying to figure out how to get it. And with this defensive card, they are going to come to you after they kind of get their mind wrapped around the situation. Um, with the Ace of Pentacles, with a solid offer. Because you're like, hey, if you don't want me, if you don't want to do this, well then, I can move on. And for the Wish Fulfillment card, you're going to have to have patience with this. If you want this person, you're going to have to have a lot of patience. Because, like I said, you've caught them off guard. You're kind of making them grow up. And it's not that they don't want to. They're just not used to it and they're having to kind of go through you know everything there that they need to think about so with this death card um, <clears throat> I just got the um, the five of Pentacles which is the impoverished soulmate or twin flame connection so you're wanting to move out of this and you're like okay we're moving out of this or I'm moving on which I know that you're not <laughs> Um, but, you know, you might be like, no, 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 I said I'm going to, and I'm going to do it. Um, I think you just need to try to work through this and see, see what happens. Don't make any rash decisions. Because they're, you know, you got to give this person time. Like I said, they've been dealing with immature people or people with not a whole lot of direction. And you're like, no, I got my shit together. I know what's happening. I know what I want to do. Either, you know, get it or get out. And the um, King of Swords came out with the Three of Cups, which is, you know, happy joy, uh, abundance. Um, I'm feeling like there, there could be a third party. Because it's like, you guys haven't been real, you've been somewhat serious, but not, like nothing committed. And this person might have been playing with someone of their age and you're like figure it out I mean because um, you are the catch you are the true catch and they know it they know it so you have shocked the shit out of them so for the um, three of wands you're looking to the future and so are they and with this high priestess card on top I'm showing that you have all the manifesting skills that is required to get the situation into a working, a workable situation. Um, they're hesitant because they've been hurt before, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah, maybe I, you know, I've seen this before." And people, um, and I hate to keep going back to people their their age, but um, they haven't experienced someone like you before, because this is a soulmate. Um, you know, twin flame, make possibly a karmic connection. But they're going to come in with um, the Knight of Cups. They're going to come in with an offer as soon as they screw their head back on. They're really going to assess the situation and go, no, I want this person. They're going to go through the dark night of the soul. They're going to have to think about it. Um, this could take a little bit, but um, they're going in within and so are you. So you're just going to have to be patient. I know. That's like the worst words to hear, you know, because with the temperance is cosmic timing. And this is what comes out. So this is the six of cups. This is the happy soulmates, the happy twin flames. So you guys might be feeling impoverished right now, but you know this connection is strong. And so do they. So my suggestion, just be patient and let them kind of screw their head back on. Okay. 
Thank you for joining me, and I hope that this was helpful as to why they are silent. We're going to move on to pile two, which is the mermaid. The mermaid with the crystal. So card num deck number two, so mermaid. So this already has been pre-shuffled, so why are they silent? Got the four of wands coming out. Why are they silent? assess the situation here. Uh, why are they silent? You've got the Four of Wands here, so this is a commitment card. And you had a tower moment. There's some grieving, but not seeing that not all is lost. You've got the Ten of Cups here, which is happy home, happy life. You've got the Queen of Swords, which is a confident, self-assured, coming across as divine feminine, where they can cut you out of their life if they so choose. There's the Justice card and the Sun card, which is the happiest in the deck. So I think that there was a, an offer of commitment. It was moving along nicely, and there was some kind of a strange communication that brought a tower moment. I think somebody got cold feet. Because it was a higher level of commitment. They got cold feet, and then it brought about this tower moment. They were like, oh, and they've just turned silent. And then you are feeling like you're grieving because with the Five of Cups, there is two cups in front of, or three cups in front of them that are dumped over, but you're not seeing that there's still two cups behind you. So there is still love. And you want the Ten of Cups and the Sun, and you want justice. And they're just being very, very cold right now. They're not, it's like they've ghosted you. They're not answering you. And what I'm feeling is they're going through this tower moment because I think some past drama came up. Like um, a fear of rejection, a fear of commitment, a fear of, oh my God, do I want to, you know, do I really want to do this? Is this safe for me to do this? Like this person had um, a broken family. You know, which, who doesn't have a broken family these days, right, with all the divorces? But um, they're really just kind of, they freak themselves out. And maybe they're thinking they moved a little too fast with this commitment. With the Four of Wands, there is the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so they're reflecting on this offer that was either you gave or they gave. And they're just really assessing that they, they still are moving forward in their mind. And I know that you're having a hard time going, oh my God, what am I supposed to do here? But here is the Ten of Pentacles. Because you've got the Ten of Cups and you've got the Ten of Pentacles. Then you've got the Sun, sun card and you've got Justice. So just hold on. Just hold your horses. Let this person have their dark night of the soul. Because there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of grounded growth and family here. And then with the, the sun card coming out, you're just gonna have, unfortunately, you're just gonna have to be patient. 
and the Seven of Cups came. And with this tower moment, yeah, they're dealing with the choices. They're like, oh my God, oh my God, is this what I want? Is this what's, it's just they're having cold feet. And your best tactic is just to, you know, feel your feelings, see what this is bringing up for you and um, let them have their moment. Because, you know, both of you do want to have a solid commitment with each other where you're, you're growing a foundation and you are building something together. And with this Ten of Cups, uh, you, you, see, you do have a lot of love here. A lot of love. So this is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is a man and a woman and she's pregnant. And they're, they're staring at the cradle waiting for the baby. Okay. There's definitely a lot of love here. And, you know, you can understand if the person's having a little bit of cold feet. You know, it's with the Queen of Swords. Is the Ten of Wands. So they're feeling like this is, they're feeling a burden. And they're scared to death with this burden. And they're like, do I want this? I don't know. Do I want this? I don't know. They're just, like I said, it's just cold feet. So the Justice card. So the Seven of Wands. So you're feeling, you know, defensive about this and going, what's going on? Have I made a huge mistake with this person? You know, are they, are they just going to walk away from me? From what I'm seeing, they are absolutely not walking away from you. You're just going to have to give them time. And the Death card came out, which is good because this is bringing a death of their fears. So they can start anew and have this Ten of Pentacles, have the Seven of Wands, and have the Sun card, and have the um, Ten of Cups. All right. I'm, I'm thinking that that is good because what all that I'm honestly getting is that you're just going to have to weather the storm because this is their tower moment where they're, they're just having cold feet, like I've said a couple times already. Keep breathing and um, please comment, share, and, um, and subscribe and let me know if that was helpful to you, okay? Thank you. Thanks for joining me today. And this is deck number three with the beautiful fluorite heart. This is the Light Seers Tarot. And once again, it has already been shuffled. So why are they silent? So we've got the Five of Swords. The Six of Cups. We've got the Double Card. Got the Nine of Swords, the Four of Swords, yeah. we've got the Death and Rebirth card, got the Six of Swords, the Page of Pentacles. And the Ten of Swords. Let me get a read on this. Sorry, I had to get a little bit of a drink. So what I'm picking up is that um, the Divine Masculine is the one that mostly will be inquiring on this, and you can flip the story as you need to. But why they are silent is you're going through hell right now. You're just trying to figure out what the hell happened. I thought we were going down a good path um, with the Six of Cups, and that is um, the soulmate connection, the past life connection. And you've got the double card here where... You know, one thing that if you don't already know, when um, you have a connection where it is a soulmate or past life, or possibly a twin flame, it's going to trigger both of you because you're a mirror for each other. So people are going to go through their dark night of the soul because here's the, the nine of swords right here. This person has 
a lot of baggage they have to let go of. And you're kind of bringing that forward unbeknownst to you. <clears throat> and they're, they're staying up at night. They can't sleep. Obviously, you're having a hard time sleeping because of the situation. It's just like they just stopped communicating with you. And you, the last time you were together, it felt like you could tell the energy had changed. And you could tell that there was something wrong. And you're like, is anything wrong? And they're like, oh, no. But you could tell that they, they just were not sharing what was happening inside. And they've completely gone within. And they're experiencing a, a death and a rebirth. Whatever they are working through here, you're going to have to give them the moment to do so. Because they do want to walk away from the baggage that they've been carrying. And they do want to come forth with you with um, a message of groundedness. But right now they just can't do it. Because they're like, I just don't even know what to say. Like whatever has come up for healing for them has kind of like knocked the shit out of them. And they're like, what has happened? And they don't want you, they don't want you to leave them. And so they're trying to back away to deal with it. So they can come back with you. And they honestly just don't know what to say. Because they're terrified of you going, wow, okay. Um, I'm moving on. You're weird. And, you know, obviously you're the one who's inquiring. So that is not the case. And if you're feeling like that, good luck. Because this is a soulmate connection. So. Or a past life karmic connection. Who knows? You're the only one to know. And here is the Ten of Swords. So they are experiencing, here's, you know, double death card right here. You know, you might even be triggered. Like this whole situation might be triggering you so much that you're having to go within. Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here? Yeah, you thought you were coming across as the Knight of Cups. You know, full of love, charm, had it going on. And you thought you guys were having a great time with the Three of Cups, the Joy card, the Celebration. And with the Devil card, two of them came out. So with the Devil, um, you feel that this person is your Empress. And you want to offer this person the world. You truly do. With the Nine of Swords, Temperance, you're going to have to have patience with them and they're going to have to have patience with themselves on going through this dark night of the soul. And then with the Four of Swords, they are scared that you're going to have choices and move on. With the Death and Rebirth card, there's the Ten of Cups. So through this death and rebirth, there's a, a beautiful chance for the Ten of Cups, which is happy home, happy life. Yeah, they are. What I'm hearing from this card, this is the Three of Swords. Um, and this is what I'm getting, like I said, flip the story. But the Divine Feminine that you're dealing with, she is she, he, them, whoever it is, is going through some sexual trauma remembrance. And it's going to take them a minute. You know, maybe when you guys start talking again, suggest, um, you know, depending, suggest counseling. But they are just, they're trying to find themselves because they realize there's a part of them missing from this past trauma. And they know they want to reclaim it. Because like I said, you're coming across as the Knight of Cups. And they're like, oh my God, this person is amazing. And then now I've got this shit coming up. And what is the Page of Pentacles? So you're wanting to run in and rescue um, 
because it's the Knight of Swords. Maybe you can for you know to show them how much you care, but they're gonna have to do this themselves because the Ten of Wands came out. So they are gonna move away from this difficulty. It's just gonna be giving them time to do so. Okay. Now they're gonna do a lot of contemplating and healing. You know, and you're just going to have to be patient with them. And I, I think that you will. Because like I said, there, there's a world, world card here. There's the Ten of Cups. There's them moving away from difficult times. So there's love here. Just, you know, try to be patient and realize that this isn't anything to do with you. You know, your love has brought them to a place of healing, which to a certain degree is absolutely beautiful, right? It's not what you kind of hoped for, but <clears throat> going on down the road, wouldn't you rather have them be more whole, right? Good to get rid of it now. So I hope that was helpful. And um, if it was, please give me a like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time on Davida. Well, I'm Davida, and then Medium of the Light Tarot. Thanks again, you guys. Bye-bye.